when we were still struggling for freedom and the Britishers were being as unkind as possible to all of us. And when we decided enough is enough. That was Bhagat Singh who killed John Pontius Saunders who was known for his cruelty. Could we increase the music sound please? As Saunders passed away, we all know that Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev and Balbi were hung to death. Which was the beginning of the utmost atrocities that we all saw. Volume please, music. And then we saw our father of the nation building us slowly and steadily with his calm and quiet nature. Telling us that yes, we need to fight, but not with our hands, but with our words. Gandhiji stood strong in the face of all adversities and showed us what we are capable of as Indians and why we should not tolerate what we shouldn't. And the biggest lesson of all, see no evil, speak no evil, and hear no evil. And he built a heart of India. And as he built the flag and made us all super proud of it, we all learned the importance of this beautiful land and how much it gives us on an everyday basis whether it's agriculturally, resource-wise, or strength-wise, or culturally. That was the Indian map. Few of the most prominent leaders of ours, Rani Lakshmi Bhai, Subhash Chandra Bose, Bhagat Singh, Sardar Balabhai Patel, Gandhiji, and so many more like them who inspired us to stay in the line of dream and always stand up for the wrong things. With Dandi March, Gandhiji proved that we don't need to listen to Britishers because Britishers are going to listen to us when we take a stand. The Iron Man of India, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who still stands strong in all of our hearts. And our deep stand, stand, and our deep respects to our. Indian flag and Sardarji who taught us that resilience is what is required to win in life. And while we talk about leaders who have inspired us, how can we not speak about Abdul Kalam sir? Dr. Abdul Kalam has stood up, has been a brilliant example in front of all of us of what education intelligence and patriotism could actually do. Even though he's not amongst us right today, we all absolutely love the wisdom that he has shared with us. When we thought we were done with our Britishers, we are done with our fights, we know the Uri attack was quite severe. So many lives lost in Pulwama. But still our soldiers fought strong because we have not forgotten what our leaders taught us. We are going to protect our land no matter what. Let's give a big round of applause 
for the soldiers of jazz.